Hello and welcome to tonight's show. <laughs> and they both stood up all over him with a um, Uzi and just, what he told me, sat on bang. Developing news, a young boxer who was an inspiration to those who knew him was gunned down yesterday in front of his family in South L.A. Fox 11's Hal Eisner, he's live with what his relatives are saying tonight. Hal? Yeah, it's been a very sad day here in the South L.A. neighborhood. This is where Malik Birdsong was shot and killed yesterday in the very neighborhood where he grew up. I'm totally heartbroken. Because they did it in front of me. Victor Taylor, Malik Birdsong's stepdad, grieving over the murder of his stepson. They assassinated my son in front of me. Malik's mom, describing what she and Victor saw as two young men pulled up to the house. So he just said, what's up, bro? And then they pulled out these guns. He took one shot to the shoulder first. She says Malik's girlfriend was threatened. And then Malik got up and ran down the driveway. And they both stood up all over him with a um, Uzi and just, what he told me, sat on bang. Police say he was shot several times, died at a local hospital, and they're still looking for the suspects who the family describes as young. 15, 20. Younger than Malik. Baby's killing my baby. Through the tears, they remember the 31-year-old, who they say was a great young man. He ended up being a strong young man. And Everybody loved him, and I was so, I'm super proud of him. Super proud, not only because he had such successes in boxing, recently won a welterweight championship, but did so much for others. He found some, a bag with jewelry and about $100,000 cash, and the man dropped it, and Malik returned it to him. To me, he was outstanding, he was outstanding and he made me proud. He made me proud to be his mom. His mother says Malik was a triplet. The other two babies, she says, didn't survive. She even says doctors recommended Malik be aborted at five months because it didn't look like he was going to survive. But he worked out, became strong, learned to box, and did some training at this South L.A. gym. Good kid, um, came up here, very respectful, disciplined, committed to what he wanted. Back at the family home. I just want justice you know i want those that's responsible for it to be held accountable that's all those two shooters that were responsible here are still on the loose please say if you have any information at all call the lapd in south la i'm hal eisner fox 11 news all right i'm just gonna get right into this um a young prominent boxer by the name of malik Birdsong was shot and killed in L.A. yesterday at 4.50 p.m. He was standing outside and two youngsters rolled up and words were exchanged. <clears throat> they pulled out a weapon and began shooting, hitting Malik in his shoulder. Malik then ran down the street to his home where the two youngsters got out of the SUV, ran down the street looking for him. When they found him, they walked up on him. And his last words were, I don't bang. And they executed him right there on the spot. But he was rushed to the hospital where later on he succumbed to his wounds rest in peace sir it is so sad that you had to lose your life for nothing 
for something that could have been prevented, something that could have been avoided, something that probably never shouldn't have happened. <clears throat> but this is L.A. This is how they get down. When you got young men out there riding around in the enemy's neighborhoods, <clears throat> ready to go put in some work, they going to go put in that work. And who's ever standing outside in they ops neighborhood and they know that they got pistols, they going to press. They are going to press. This is what they do in L.A. This is a normal thing. <clears throat> this is an everyday thing. Where you get young men in a car that's going out the hoo ride and put in work for the hood. But unfortunately this time, they took someone that did not gangbang. They took someone that was not out there in the streets. Selling drugs, pimping, gang banging, robbing, stealing, committing God knows what. <clears throat> he was a righteous dude. A good dude. You know? This dude had a record of 15 and 1 with one draw and 10 knockouts. He was on his way to becoming someone big. Someone well known. But unfortunately, he ain't, will never get to live his dream again. He will never get to put on a pair of boxing gloves again. He will never get an opportunity to hold his children again. He will never get to see his mother again. He will never enjoy the love of his relationship with his girlfriend again. It was all taken away. For nothing. For nothing. So, I mean, to the gang that came through, that was rolling through a trade territory, <clears throat> what is the big homies going to do? I mean, wasn't the gangs out in L.A.? Talking about peace and truce. Uh, <clears throat> seize gunfire. It ain't gonna never work, man. As long as people are living in the conditions that they are living in. And they always going to have this poverty mindset. This is never going to stop. This is never going to end. And it's just life. It's just how people live. It's just what people are accustomed to. In order to get away from the nonsense, you have to move away from the nonsense. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that can't move away from the nonsense. And then you have people that will never move away from the nonsense because those are the things that they are accustomed to. That is their lifestyle. These are the things that they love to do. Death and destruction is normal to them. Very normal. It's so normal Death really doesn't affect too many of these people because they've seen it so many times. They've witnessed it so many times. And it's just the way of the world. <clears throat> Even though this young man lost his life and it was a very sad situation for him and his family. And God bless his family. And keep his family in prayer because they need everybody's prayer right now because they're hurting. But the reality of this situation is this. 
History will always repeat itself over and over and over and over again. 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years down the line, you are going to get the same story on the news. Innocent such and such killed by gang members rolling away in a such and such. If you have any information, please call number such and such or contact the local PD such and such. It's the same thing over and over again. It's never going to stop. And I'm just being real with it. It's never going to stop. The hatred, the anger that we have for each other is way out of control. We have no remorse for one another in this society of California, Los Angeles, Compton, Watts, Pasadena, Pacoima, San Bernardino, even Moreno Valley. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. The hatred for one another is everywhere. In all of these inner cities. They don't love you. They don't love me. Half of them don't even love their own mama. Most of them selling drugs to their mama. This is. The crack babies. The crack babies in their 20s. Early 30s. And then they introducing. The meth head babies. The fentanyl babies. And a sprinkle of crack babies. Into the environment. Of gang life. Gang banging is real. It's not a joke. It's not a game. There is absolutely no cold. There's absolutely no honor in gang banging no more. It's kill or be killed. May the best man win. Survival of the fittest. Good or bad. Right or wrong. They will die for what they believe in. They will kill. For what they believe in. Rest in peace. Malik Bursong. May God. Take you in heaven with him. And may you shine. The light. And the love. On your family. Because they will. Truly miss you. This is your host with the most. Big Bang. And I'm out. Peace. Double down.